So here I was just about to start recording a video for the AFM update that I promised a month ago and something got delivered. Guys, the excitement continues. Just when I thought it couldn't get any more. Um, if you watched my, pre uh, my previous upload, you see that my rims came in and part of my tire order. Well, without any notification of shipping, any kind of heads up, the freaking 2019 and up C8 style taillights just got delivered by UPS on my front porch here. And guys, I cannot wait to put these on the car. I'm going to try my best to be the first install video on YouTube for these cars, uh, for this, this part. So look at this, guys. This place is a wreck because everything's coming in at one time. Got my rims. I literally opened up yesterday. And look at that. Ooh. Man, I was number six on the pre-order list, and the first two were prototypes, so I was really number four. Oh, that's cool. We got a free license plate frame. Nice. I've been waiting since March for these. I ordered like the day they went up. I'm gonna try to hurry up and unbox them so I can start the install. Can't do anything bend over like that. All right. Ooh, let's see. All right, let me set my camera up and we'll see. So we got a free license plate frame here. Auto Addict USA is where I got it from. Mod it, break it, fix it, and repeat it. That's pretty cool. I'll just probably stick that up here with my collectible stuff. All right, guys. Here we go. Please don't. Do please don't. Do nothing wrong with it, please. All right. What is this? Some kind of lanyard? It says the same thing. Mod it. Auto edit USA. Cool. Sticker. All right. Got some harnesses here. User manual. All right, moment of truth. What side we got first? Ooh, let's see. Look at that, guys. They're very light. This is uh this is the passenger side, so look at that. This is the um, Umbra Umbra version. They have uh, I think the other one's Velox, which is red here. Look at that guys. That's gonna look Cool. All right, let's check the other one. I'm gonna look them over real good to make sure nothing's wrong. And here's the driver's side. Nice. Nice. I don't want to spend too much time on the unboxing like I already have. Guys, I'm ready to install these auto addict sticker there. So I need to go ahead and say on the 2019 and up models, you do have to remove your rear bumper to install the new lights. Um, the reason being is at the bottom, there's actually two bolts that you cannot access unless the bumper is removed. So that's unfortunate, but Guys, we gotta put these awesome looking things on. So I do need to say also that I have removed the rear bumper on a 2019 RS and my 21 SS multiple times on this channel. So if you need to see a very detailed process, go check that out. I'm gonna say what needs to be done just really quick and then fast forward that process so we can get to the actual install of the tail light. So we're gonna start by popping the trunk and we're gonna do everything that's needed in here first. So don't mind my mess in here. 
So what I did is I backed up on Rhino Ranch just to give myself some extra clearance and use my fiance's blanket to drop the bumper down. And we're getting ready to start everything in the trunk here. So we're gonna need to take these off, this off, same on this side, and pull this liner back here. So let me get a different camera angle. So the reason we need to remove these here, it is very dirty, is because there is a clip that the bumper actually sits onto. And we actually need to get the tail light out. So you see that little ridge right there? It's hard to do this on camera. Pry it out. Just like that. See it came out. And then this portion here should just come right out. Yep. So I'm gonna do that to all three on this this one and all three on this one. Now these two are removed. We're gonna remove this piece here. So aftermarket third brake light in those patterns so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the first person with that that installs these uh, aftermarket so you get the clip up here and what you're going to do is unplug your little clip so this right here gives a lot of people trouble I've had multiple questions about this the little plug it plugs into the back of the light there so what you need to do is take your flathead or something and press it up inside that slot right there and it'll pull right out. Next we're going to pull these liners back. I'm going to shout across here. It's in there somewhere. All right, so we're going to pull it back. Just so we can access the bolts right there. And then we have a bolt. bolts on that side too. All right, I so said I was gonna do a quick walkthrough of how to remove the bumper because I've done it so many times on the channel. So, you have four seven millimeters and a T15, same on the other side, and two seven millimeters in the middle. Fender wheel here. You have one, two, three T15s, and when you pull it back, you have a seven millimeter right here in this corner to hold these two panels together. Same on the other side, but the driver's side has two. Wiring harnesses that need to be pulled out and dropped like these here. Now we're getting ready to drop the bumper. Now I do need to say, be super careful right here in the middle because there's like a plastic bracket right here that's just like plastic welded to the back of this bumper and it will bust. So be super careful right here. On the bottom of each light, I'm gonna have one, two, seven millimeters. The bolts on the back side within the fender liner that we showed earlier. Eight millimeter. Should be ready to remove now. So GM clips are by far my worst nightmare. I hate them. So what you want to do is pull this little clip back, see it pulls back, and there's actually a lock up inside that little channel there. You don't want to press that up and pull out. On your old tail lights, on the bottom, there's this plastic bracket. You don't want to take these two. So there's one there, and there's one up in there. Take those out. We got our unit here. So we gotta do our resistor or it's gonna hyper flash. So what you wanna do? Just 
Take your resistor plug. Plug it in, snap. I'm just going to take this 3M tape. Off the back. I'm just going to stick it down there and out of the way. Now this is for your third brake light. This here. So, I'll take this. I'm Unwire this. Alright, you see it splits. So, I'm going to take our plug here. I'm going to plug it into this. Take this and plug it into our light here. Yeah. You see it split. So this one here. This one just simply plugs in, just like that. Make sure the rubber covers it. Same with this side. Once we put it in, so we need to make sure these work. Ooh. All right.
I really like them. They look really, really good. Um, let's see if there's anything to mention. They sit just a little bit lower than stock, I think, right here with this gap. And the one thing I noticed when I was just doing videos outside, like you just seen, different angles that you look at it. Uh, could be, you know, just the sun, but the turn signals didn't look like they were fully filled in right through here. But as you got a different, you know, perception of the light, they were filled in. So it was just the way that this was reflecting the sun. Um, you know, how's that gonna look on the road? I don't know, but who cares? It looks nice. Um, install wise, it wasn't too bad. Um, I just, I don't like dropping a bumper and you gotta do it for this, but hey guys, in the end, it's worth it. So I appreciate y'all watching this, hopefully the first full install video on YouTube for these lights. And, um, you know, if y'all like them, go get you some link down in the description down below. It is very early morning. Saturday morning, so that's why I look half asleep. But, all right guys, appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, peace.